Right. I'm up on top of some land that I thought was inaccessible, but according to locals, people come here with dog as well. But I'm just looking what's on this piece of land, basically. And I've got two locals who know where to go in, so they can show me. And I'll show you a little bit more when we get there. There's an old building there that still belongs to the old colliery anyway, and it's that building down there that I've showed you before on a previous video. But yeah, I've come in to have a look what was around here. I can't find what I'm looking for. Where's West Park? That was an old pit as well, over there. As, as said by the lads here, there's not much to find around here apart from just what looks like overgrown shrubs everywhere and stuff. But it was part of the old colliery. We're, we're heading off towards Summit Colliery now, guys. And I'll tell you a little bit more when we get there. I thought they were police, but they're not. They're just dog walkers coming through as well. Right, so I'm back at the neck of the woods again. Literally, neck of the woods, because we're about to go into neck of woods. All part of the old Sherwood Forest. But it's raining again. So yet again, I'm going to struggle doing a video. Okay, every time I come, it decides to rain. Did you know, yeah, these men behind me are going to think I'm a right geek. Did you know that forests weren't even made for plants and trees, even though they've got trees in them? They were made for the royal family back in the day, the kings and all that. They all had, like, a bit of woodland, and it was all part of the history. We are looking for more old antique, well, not antique, but more old uh, things in this area. We're up now near, best way I can describe it, guys, if you're from Kirkby and Ashfield, you'll know where there's a little co-op up Popular Avenue up there near not far from Hamilton no not Hamilton there's a little hill up there in it the beacon up what beacon drive not far from there there's a little area where it looks like they're doing some new houses and there's an area for kids and a playground and then behind me up there is the woodland that then goes towards Sherwood Observatory just to situate yourselves so I'm doing a whole load of small little videos of different places there's one about to be edited on Annersley when I went down there near Newstead for a little walk one day. Then there's another video coming later, in a, maybe in about a month's time, because it takes quite long to edit. And that is up in St. Wolford's Church, Old Kirkby. I went to, also found by the way, I went down there and found the fountain that day, which is not a fountain, but it looks like one. And that's on Portland Park near Bentinck Colliery. And I plan to go back to Bentinck Colliery to do another video where I'll be looking for some other railway, disused railway lines towards Pinkston. And most of my journeys are followed by this, my guide, that teaches me the way and the history. Follow me. Well, look what I've found. So another one of these rocks here tells you all about the Kirkby Summit Colliery. Does it tell you where we are now? That would be good. I don't know, this might be where I was in my first video I was at. That could have been there. It says South Road Lane down there. South Road Lane's further down, isn't it? Hmm, I'm not sure, guys. But yeah, we're up here anyway. In West Park. And it's telling you where the rest of the things were. So, that's Lowmore Road there. That's Lowmore Road. So one of the first times when I told you there was the engine sheds. The engine sheds must have been around here somewhere. But yeah, you can see how much stuff there really was in this area. So yeah, we're at West Park, guys. Let's see what else we can find. Not far, guys, from where I've just been, up in that wasteland, is this, West Park. Now, West Park was part of the old collieries as well. The pits were down here, basically. So where all this estate is of houses now was one of the pits and West Park named after West Pit to do with the collieries. Whether we're going to find anything down here or not, I don't know. I'm just scouting the area and let's see what we can find. Is that rock part of the old pits maybe? Strange looking rock just there. Yeah, well whatever it did say it's been wrecked. So I don't know what it said. Anyone know? But yeah, we're at West Park, and this is one of the old pits, guys. And what it is today, we're walking down here, because I'm going to... The active Robin Hood line is just here on my left-hand side, by the way, which was very near the original lines. 
But why I'm coming this way is because I'm going to an old people's home and this is a way of going as well. I figured it out on maps and this route comes out eventually near where the old station was where I was talking to you the other day up in the old part. So that's where we're going guys. So yeah, welcome to more history. We're literally walking on history here at West Park, Kirkby and Ashfield. So all these woodlands around here as well, a lot of them have oak tree, if you didn't know, like Robin Hood tree. If you believe you've lived in a tree, I mean, I don't really believe that a man lived in a tree, but if that's what you want to believe, most of Sherwood Forest has got oak trees. And that's why there's a famous tree called the Major Oak in Sherwood Visitor Centre. But yeah, people are wondering what am I doing a video of a bit of woodland. It's because I just wanted to mention that. So yeah, forests were made mainly by like royal family and kings and all that kind of stuff to have a bit of area near where they lived. For like plants and animals and part of this woodland here by the way before i forget is part of the old boundary of sherwood forest hence the oak tree you can see just another play area for kids around here and another rock over there that probably tells me more about the summit pit that was around here but yeah we're just going through guys onto the other side some ramp things here for kids for bikes and whatnot and I'm heading towards the south side, towards where the old train station was. I'm not too sure if the lines were here. So where we're walking now, this could have been an old railway line, I'm not sure. Or is it further down there, near where the Robin Hood line is? Don't know guys, let me know if anyone knows, just comment below. In memory of founder members, Community Group West Park. No idea what that is guys, anyone know? Like a little memorial here. Quite a lot of different things actually here for kids. Playground, I'll have to bring Little Man one day. It's quite extensive amount of things there is. Little walkways, slides everywhere, zip line. And yeah, this is West Park guys. What does that one say then? See how there's loads of little like assault courses and stuff you can go on, it's really cool. What does this one say? Greenwood. Community group, West Park again. Not too sure what these are, guys. But I'm heading towards the old part of Kirby again, so follow me. Yeah, it was worked by the Great Central Railway, but then operated also, obviously, by the Man Mansfield Railway at the time. And also L-N-E-R. I don't know what that stands for. Please tell me, because that should be something I know. But I don't really know the te technology of technical names of uh, railway stuff anyway. So, so yeah, just off West Park and then turn right, so west of West Park. And we find this long piece of lawn. There's quite a lot of them around here in this part of the country I've seen made now for walkways. But this is where the railway lines came. So the sidings would have been down here and they come out where, as I say, I was in a previous video when I was up in the Kirkby Old Park. Remember where I showed you some churches, where I showed you uh, some places where there used to be public houses, a snooker club was up there. Well, more or less there is where I'm going to hopefully come out on this walk, guys. My calculations are, and I've always wanted to know what this was, this is basically an old railway line from the summits to the Great Railway, Central Railway Station in Kirkby. So follow me and we're going to go down here where we're going follow this path and hopefully it's going to come out at the site where I told you the old church was the Methodist Church and then Kirkby and Ashfield Central follow me so yeah I was spot on guys we are coming out just where I was the other day when I went down there to see the station where the station was and then I cut through to go to St Wolford now some buildings around here on the left hand side guys anyone know what they were or are they look like warehouses or factories to me of some kind. But yeah, here we have it then. So just as I confirmed, when I wondered, this is where the old railway lines would have come down to the station just there, guys. I'm off today to find Mill Lane Bridge. Also, when I'm down there, I want to try and find some old disused railway lines and some more things in that area near the old Benton Colliery. Follow me. Quick question, people. I'm here, right, at the top there. I don't know if you can see on here. Let's zoom in a bit. We've got the houses that are on top of the old Annersley Bridge up there. And there's two portals, one on this side and one on the other side. I believe one is called 
Annesley Tunnel, and the other one is called, actually I don't know, one of the reasons why I'm videoing today. Let me know if you know the other one on the other side. Could it be Newstead Tunnel? I'm not sure, but anyway, the now Robin Hood line runs through there. But I've just found this on the left-hand side, guys. So we're coming from here, in this junction where you go towards Wild Rabbit Cafe, where I'm going in a minute. But look, I found this on the left-hand side. Anybody know what this is? I'd be interested to know. I've never actually been this way before. We're going a new way today, just investigating the area. See what's what. I found this box and this cordoned off place. Ah, uh, it says Seven Trent Water. Okay, that's what it is then. Where's the quarries? That's what I'm looking for. I've been told to come this way to find the quarries. Well, guys, you know, it is quite haunted, I think, down here. We're quite eerie. Just heard a weird noise again. I think that might be a bird, I don't know. So there's three different ways there. I wonder if one of them's Lover's Walk, because I know one of them's called Lover's Walk. Not too sure anyway, but here down here guys, where old quarry face you'll see in a minute. Down here is where the Wild Rabbit Cafe is. And there's also a kennels, I believe, for dogs. I'm going to have a look today, because I'm thinking of getting a dog. But yeah, it's, here's a eerie, eerie wash. Or is it, some, no, it's not the eerie wash, sorry. What is the name of that river down there, actually? That's a good point. You, you can... You can comment below if you know. This is probably going to be a video just for socials, but it might be as well for YouTube. If you do know what that river's called down there, let me know. Apparently all this area here, as I said in a previous video, was a pleasure park for kids before the World War. And then after the World War, it all came back to life again, and people couldn't come to work here. The nature of its land just reproduced itself, let's say, and it got back to how it was before, which I think is quite cool. But yeah, that goes down there towards that fountain we found the other day. I'm just going to nip up to the cafe, see what's about. I might have local produce, I don't know, till I'm there. But if there is, we'll have a taste. I've just come up here, guys, to this kennel. Really cool. Right, guys, we are down here at what's commonly known as the ponds. When I first came on one of my first videos down here, I wondered what the hell is all this down here. Back in the day, all here was filled up and it all had a play area for the kids. It was called a pleasure park, in fact. And then it went back to its nature, like I said. I'm turning around here, guys, because I'm gonna go on Lover's Walk, I believe it's called. I'm gonna walk along there, and apparently it's a nice little walk round to the other side again, back to where the signal box is. Why am I here, guys? Well, I'm actually looking for the three railway bridges and a fourth one called Mill Lane Bridge. So let's see what we can find. We're back at Portland Park, AKA the quarries. Oh, there's a few steps there. Wonder where that goes. Don't think I've ever been that way, guys. Let's go and investigate. This is coming down from the right hand side, so coming across here where the old springs were, or the old ponds, let's say, for the pleasure park. Just up here to the right is this. It's starting to rain, so I'm going to wait a minute. Not sure where that goes. We're going down there in a minute because we're going towards Lover's Walk, but we're just coming up these stairs now. See where this takes us. Was this a way down for the pleasure park back in the day? I'm looking for the 44 steps as well, by the way, guys. That's another thing I'm looking for today. Apparently it's not 44 left. I thought it was to do with the fountain, but it's not. So I don't know what it's to do with. So we'll have to go and have a gander down there near where Bentink Colliery was. I think I'm coming out near where the car park is, I think. Is that right? No. Up here. Guys, look what we found here then. So. Coming down from the top end of where Portland Park car park is. Remember I showed you earlier, I was going to say to you, let's go down there and see what there is down there. Well, this is what I found. I found all, this is really steep down here. This is all, I think that's Lover's Walk down the middle, guys. And I'm up here at the top. I've just been told, though, that this on the right-hand side was part of where the old railway lines went. Look at that, guys. And I can see some brickwork down there and a bit of like interface of the old quarries and that. So the old line used to go down there. There's some more. Yeah, yeah. I need to go down there. Yeah, so guys, I don't think there's any way in because the other old line, well, the new line now joins up there and the bit that's cordoned off. So there's no way of getting in there. I don't know if there is another way. Please let me know. It's certainly worth coming to visit. The old line used to go that way. Well, guys. I found an interesting entrance here. It looks open as well. I wonder if we can see the old uh, railway down here. 
this is where it would have come and then it would have gone down there and that's why there's a path down there that we already know about from a previous video I think this is the beginning of where the old line used to go it says open we need to come here though if anyone's interested to collaborate with me the old railway line used to go down there that is cool and this is the old quarries right here as I've previously said in another video the Houses of Parliament some of the limestone that was quarried out of these rocks here was to do with this place here near Kirby and Ashfield I'm standing right on top of railway history this is the exact location where the old railway used to go from Pinkston to Mansfield the exact location right and down here I reckon there's going to be quite a few findings so shout out to Purple Vision if you're watching we need to come here you're going to love it here at Portland Park at the quarries let me know guys this might sound like a silly question to you guys but this is open for me to go in okay but I don't think it really is because it looks just broken people probably walk around here I don't know but it'd be nice to know there's a little mount here just near the entrance what's that about the old train tracks used to come along here around this corner I'm assuming maybe that was the side here and then down this way it's really interesting let me know any memories you have or what used to be down here or any links you can send me so anyone know where this is they found this here I think the train line used to come down from up there where we were down along here that's what I think and that's why there's a dip there as well there's a pathway here now but I don't think that's where the train line went I think it went down there along there somewhere and now there's the Robin Hood line there instead but yeah we're looking for 44 steps guys rail heritage at Portland Park Industrial Revolution Mansfield and Pixton Railway we've been following that Midland Railway Line MRL Great Central Railway Line we've been following that Great Northern Railway Mansfield Line Beaching Cuts don't know where that is and Robin Hood Line Robin Hood Line that's what it is now location what does it say where we are now there's the Annesbury ah the other one's called Kirkby okay it's called Kirkby Tunnel the other one need to go and have a look for that one we are here around here at the moment Right, you know where we are guys, where the old signal box used to be. We're going to go down this way today and see where this path takes us. Apparently it takes us to a, a bridge. I'm wondering if it's the Mill Lane Bridge I'm looking for. I'm going to try it out, see where it takes us. And then the 44 steps are down there somewhere. So we'll come back that way. Let's see what we can find. Right guys, I may be mistaken, but I think I'm not, okay? I think... We are on an old railway line to one of the pits or collieries because down there is the fields, beautiful down there. Here are these big blocks I found on the side of this pathway. Blocks like this that to me look like something to do with the trains of some sort. Maybe the ends of the lines and stuff. So I reckon here there was a train line going to the old Benting colliery or further down as well guys I don't know you let me know you write below and tell me where you think this is just what I thought we're coming now to what looks like an old bridge along here so I'm pretty sure this was the way for I'm gonna try and take this off maybe it's better view I'll take the cover off guys maybe I'm doing it all on my phone today it looks a bit dark to me something wrong with the lenses maybe is that better? Yeah, I'm up here anyway. So down there is towards St. Wilford's. And that way is the other side of where the railway goes, the Robin Hood line. But up here, I found this, guys, as well. Let's see if you know where I am. I came down that route last time, actually. I remember. But look, I found here what looks like an old bridge, guys. Is it? Is that maybe a uh, Lane Bridge? No, I think... That's further down, I believe. There's definitely an old railway line here, or some sort, guys. I don't know if you can see that. I'm standing over the top of it, basically, right now. So, under here, look, can you see? Old railway line of some sort. Anybody know? Oh, I might be able to get in there. From that field. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to have a look. I'm going to go around and have a look. Guys, I finally found something. I was told about a little bridge and it's not more lane bridge that's another one we're going to go and look for when we look for the three bridges that's in another excursion we'll do that another time today 
I've decided the 44 steps, I believe, are up there somewhere. So we're going to have a look at that in a minute. But before we do that, we're going to go this way. Follow me. What we're going to do is we're going to go. I've just seen that bridge, didn't I? So I thought we're going to we'll come and have a look at it underneath. And it's down here, guys. And to think about that, all this area here was part of the old Bentink colliery. And many moons ago, I told you up there near the church was a castle and a manor for a while. But down here, yeah, today, we just found a bridge where I'm assuming the railway went. Because last time I was here, nah, I don't know where it was. Was it further down or was it along there? I found like a moat area where I believe the train track used to go. And now I've gone and found a bridge where I'm assuming the railway line came under. So let's go and have a look. Well, we've got a slight problem. I'm going to have to get across there if I want to go and see the bridge because the bridge I saw is not this little thing I've just seen here. That's to do with the water. I'm on about a bridge a bit further down there in that field. I'm going to have to go across here, guys. I really am. Yo, that's a nice little culvert. I'm going to have to cross here and I'm going to have to get wet. It's the only way across and we need to go that way. Is this the Erie Wash? I'm not sure. But yeah, there's a... You can go all the way through there. I ain't going through. But I know Purple Vision, you like to go through, wouldn't you? Well, I've got across anyway. I wasn't going to film that because if I filmed that getting across, you would have been all laughing because I nearly fell in. So, we're through. There's a way out there anyway, I've been told, towards St. Wilford's Church, so that's cool to know. But I'm looking for that bridge. I believe belonged to the old railway here, railway lines here in Bentink Colliery. See where that tunnel is? Well, not a tunnel, it's a bridge, but where the railway line went. And then we'll go and find the 44 steps. Follow me. It's a shame I don't have a drone, guys, because look, there's that bridge I was on about to on the left-hand side. That bridge that we can see there, guys, would have been part of the old Bentink colliery. And the railway line would come through here. There was different railway lines. I don't know all the terminologies. I know there was a few. They used to come right through here, guys, here in Bentink colliery area, which is where we are now, a.k.a. the quarries. Behind me, St. Wilford, just to locate yourselves. But look, I found this bridge. I saw it as I was coming across it. Someone had mentioned it to me before. So let's go and have a look. I was earlier up there. I was up there. I was looking down there. Wicked. W wicked, wicked. Juggling massive. So I just remembered an old song. Uh, but look at that, that's cool. So we're here. So the old railway line would have gone through here, guys. Back up them ways. Into Kirkby and then to Summit Colliery and then down these ways towards Pinkston. So we're really basically walking underneath. Any echo? Yeah. There's always an echo, isn't there? Woo! Always. But it's beautiful. And um, yeah, walking through history here. And there's typical kind of brickwork. You ever seen it? Maybe in Nottingham, if you've been to Nottingham, near the old, what is now Virgin Active Gym, where the old station used to be. And some parts of Nottingham, there's this brick everywhere. In Snenton, I did a, a previous video once with Richard. Hello to you if you're watching. I doubt it, but if you are, big hello. <laughs> we did one in Snenton once, look at that. This is cool, it's taking a photo. Wicked, wicked. Where are we off to? Well, we found that bridge I wanted to go and see. So that's where the railway line, so would have come down here where I'm going right now, into the pits down here. And then there was more pits. There was Portland Pit. There was Langdon, Langdon Halls down there somewhere. We'll go there one day. We'll have a look for it, see what's down there. And we're back out here now to the part of the Portland Park, which is now known as the Quarries, guys. And yeah, this is where the railway would have come, guys. So it's a good find. It's not the bridge I'm looking for, I'm looking for another bridge, guys. But this is a nice find here, where the railways were. So the rail lines would have come through here, into the pits. And we're going to go and try and find the 44 steps while we're in this area. Another time we'll go and have a look for Mill Lane Bridge, unless we find it today. Got to find the Countryman Pub, because that is location near to where the pits used to be, Portland as well. And it's a way of finding myself for one of my next videos when I go somewhere else. Oh, one minute. So, we need to get back down there again. See if we find, we find these 44 steps, guys. Someone says they could be cordoned off because they're, like, restoring them. That would be good to know, actually. Let's go and have a look. I found, guys, what I believe is to be the location of the 44 steps. Don't know if we can go up them anymore. And I don't know what the story is behind this or folklore, but there's definitely something about these 44 steps. I mean, why were they here? Was it to get up to the railway line? One of the lines, maybe? I don't know, let me know. I'm gonna go up them, guys, because it looks like you can go up them. And let's see if there actually is 44. I thought it was like cordoned off, but it looks like it's open. Or is it? Let's have a look. See what's going on here. Oh, they do look a bit unsturdy, but it is open. 
What do you think guys? Shall we do it? Yeah, 44 steps. Let's go. Some of them are a bit unsturdy. There we have them, the 44 steps. Been looking for this for a while. Let's go. Obviously be careful as we go up. Um, I'm still open to the public, which surprises me. If I get stuck here, where will I get stuck in history? I want to know why. Oh, I didn't count them. No. Got to start again, I've got to count them. Right, I'm counting them this time. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Nine and them two. Forty-two. I thought there was forty-four. I've missed out forty-two. I mean, I've missed out two. Oh, temporary closure of the path. Oh, there's nothing down there. There should be something like stopping us from walking, surely. But I've done them. So there's forty-four, but I counted thirty-nine. Well, maybe some of them have gone. Where I was earlier at that bridge where I said the railway line came under the bridge It's just down there the bridge literally behind there. I can see it. You probably can't see it But I can just down there and then from there obviously the railway would come along here somewhere guys So it's definitely a railway junction or something here or just railway lines in general Right here right where I am and that's where the normal Robin Hood line is just down there But you know what I mean so the bridge where's the bridge gone? I've lost it now there just down there the bridge where we were earlier so the line went under there and then along there and up where we've just been so it would have been lines around here meeting up and stuff really cool so yeah next time it's even more towards pinkston doesn't look like we've found the moor lane bridge today but we can find it on another adventure so don't forget to subscribe guys comment let me know what you think and we'll be back very soon with a new adventure here with lost pilgrim your guide i don't know where that goes Trying to find that mill lane bridge. We'll find it next time, guys. This looks like a road, but don't look like it's... Is it private? I don't know. I think that's the pub in the background that I've been looking for as well. So mill lane may, may well be down there, guys. So, yeah. Until next time. Thanks for watching.